Hi guys, please introduce yourself and tell the viewers why you decided to get me to do an inspection before you bought this property. Um, good morning people, Hello. Uh, it's Chuma Brothers here, um, Bonisi, Tabisi over here. Um, we had the intention of getting into the property business, so after a couple of conversations with people and one of our, I'd say partners, uh, Tian, he recommended Marisha for the house inspection. Um, looked up her credentials so that she was certified in, in the business of you know house inspections and timber and roof you know construction and so we gave it a go. Um, we came here in Hatfield and Acadia Acadia Street. Um, so she got here and started the inspection. Even the what actually caught my attention was how you know attention to detail she pays. Even some of the small, even just a small truss on the roof, you know, pointing out that you know. It, it might need you know, might need some, some painting, might need some repair. And just generally as we walked around the house, man, there's so many smaller things that we overlooked when we viewed the property. And funny enough is she picked that all up. I mean, if there was a little mold in the roof, even if it's just three, four dots that were black to show that there's moisture coming up. I mean, she picked that up, which was quite, um, you know, it's quite interesting and impressive. And also in, in the roof, she checked out uh, one, of the, one of the rooms was a damping damping issue with one of the roofs and she pulled out that um damp meter i think it's kind of some sort of device it's kind of like a phone that you just place against the wall then it measures the amount of moisture or how damp the wall is so that you just don't inspect used using your own eye like you can't tell how much just by the amount of bubbles or the size, size of bubbles how much moisture there is but yeah, uh, I think maybe from my side, um, it's our first. This is going to be our first time buying a property. We're trying to get into the property business, and uh, this uh, property that we just uh, when uh, that we just had a look with Mauritius' help. We it's a family house that we're trying to buy and then convert it to a student accommodation. And since it's our first time, we pretty much have. Okay, as much as we have lived in communes and houses, uh, we do know what to, we think we do know what to look at, but it's always advisable to get a professional eye, uh, someone who has experience, someone who really uh, has the expertise and knows what to look at and what the problematic issues could be. And also, just to point out that she didn't on, only point out the bad things, she also pointed out, highlighted the good things and said, uh, like, wherever she saw something that was neatly done or that's very good that needs to be kept she also highlighted that so um i think it also gives good advice uh, basically and also things that you wouldn't see with the naked eye like or some something that generally someone wouldn't see something like a damp wall like to me a damp wall you just it looks or, or even open cupboards I mean, even cupboards <laughs> in the kitchen i mean she she also went through opened up every I mean every cupboard in, in the house I mean from from the kitchen to the built-in cupboards and and what, what I liked about it it's, it's a balanced inspection I don't know how the report is going to come out but it's a balanced inspection in terms of um, certain features that were good and certain recommendations that you know certain cupboards you don't need to paint them you just need to keep them the same color or you, you know so I, I'd really recommend if anyone is to do a house inspection um, due diligence due diligence, due diligence is very important Marisha is your woman um she like i said if it was in car language she just doesn't do a 50 point check she does a thousand point check like every everything <laughs> down to the detail i mean if there was a crack in the tile she probably would have picked it up if there was you know crack point on the ceiling i mean look it's my first time obviously having a building inspector but i really recommend her to anyone Thank you guys. And what about the um, advice that I gave you regarding turning in this into student accommodation and do this and not that and how did you find that advice? Um, personally I found it quite good because um, what we envisioned and, and, and versus what she's seeing in terms of you know um, basic household structures and stuff, she, she actually gave some good advice that you know certain spaces need to be you know altered to fit the you know the function that we're intending to do it on and certain places you can turn a certain room into a bathroom turn a certain room into a kitchen and also resize this and all that i think looking at how she's been around and uh, has probably inspected a couple of properties i mean student properties she she's seen what kind of works and what doesn't work so i i'd really say um her advice is 
this top guy. It's quite helpful. It's, it's quite, quite helpful. helpful. It's something to um, get your brain thinking and you know to, to you know also look out when you intend to go into the space. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Keep no well. Bye. Thanks. Bye.